A long, long time ago it was. Before people began to dwell in the sky. A terrible war was waged between us humans and the wicked god. After the horrendous battle, our ancestors entombed the wicked god and left the polluted and barren earth to find a future in the sky. Things that people mustn't touch. Who cares? <laughs> the god of demise and destruction. The cursed power of Mount Persio. The Ant Magnus? Never heard of that before. Damn! The bastards! It's unthinkable to act against the Empire! Us heroes, we have so much to do. I've been waiting. Kill him. If left alone, he will prove a threat to my Empire. Let us trust the Just young one more. who hold the spirit within them. Struggle alone will fill a great emptiness within you and ease your pain. How long have you known? Come on, Kibari! Move it! Go away! Our only hope is the long lost ocean. Awaken! Ancient god of destruction! <laughs> Someday you will know who you really are. That spirit seems to like you. If you can bond with it, something wonderful may happen to you. Are you ready? your name? So that's your name. of darkness, a millennium of solitude and suffering, beautiful white wings for you, for the world, death, and destruction. <laughs> Oh. Uh. 
Where am I? Ah, oh, my head. Ah, I see you have awakened. How do you feel? Who are you? Why am I here? My name is Larry Kush. I'm the village doctor here at Sebelrai. They found you lying unconscious in the woods nearby and brought you here. Oh yeah, I remember now. I was attacked by rock cats. Oh man, how stupid of me. You're lucky they were only rock cats. They are herbivores, after all. It's awfully strange to hear of them attacking humans. The animals in that forest have been acting quite peculiar lately. I'm not sure why, but they're much more aggressive than they used to be. You'd better stay away from those woods. By the way, what do you call yourself? I don't recall seeing you around these parts. My name's Callus. This is my first time here. Which is why I got lost, I guess. Callus, is it? Welcome to Sebel Rai Village, boy. It looks like you took quite a blow to the head. So I was worried you might have amnesia. But you seem to be fine. If you feel up to it, you're welcome to take a look around the village. We're only a small farming community on the frontier. So, I'm afraid there isn't that much to see. By the way, I left your winglet over there, by the window. Quite an unusual design for a winglet, I must say. Different from those used by the Empire. It was handcrafted by my grandfather. He was an excellent engineer. Ah, I see. Your grandfather. Very impressive. And how is he doing? He died two years ago. Is that so? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, thanks for the help, Doc. I owe you one. Actually, I'm not the one you should be thanking. Mimai is the one who found you lying in the woods and carried you here. I see. Mimai, is it? Well, that should do it. Let's get going. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Him? Her? Me, my? Is this who brought me here? Uh huh. Me, my's really cool. He's way smarter than all the drunks you see around here. And helpful, too. I see. Well, thanks, me, my. I owe you one. Ha <laughs> ha 
Are you a traveler too? I came to see the ancient ruins in the woods near here. How about you? Me? Well, I... I have to go. Bye, little guy. See you, Mimai. I have a name, you know. C-E-D-R. Cedar. They're crazy, huh, Mimai? Why bother going all the way down there just to see some stupid old ruins? Nobody in this village will even go near those woods. They say it's cursed or something. I hope they don't get jumped by wild animals out there, like someone else did. Yeah, really. Ancient ruins in Moongao Forest, eh? Why don't we go have a look ourselves? Alrighty. Let's go have a look at Moongao Forest, shall we? I'd like to check out those ancient ruins. The villagers seem to have a fear of the woods, but I think they're making a big deal out of nothing. Mere superstition, I tell you. Hey, relax. You won't catch me off guard this time. Don't be thinking you can beat me. Take this! Is that all you got? Huh. Too easy.
loser. That was a pretty sweet battle. Not bad. These fangs fetch a handsome price these days. have here a load of fresh magnus these could come in handy hey you're stealing their things they're my friends you know they were your friends these won't be doing them much good now we gotta do what we can to survive right after all i don't hear them complaining besides i'm not stripping them bare i'll only take what i need Catch. You... Graham's pendant. Leon's bracelet. You want me to give these items to their families to help them remember? Is that it? You know, I... Maybe... 
maybe I... That's your share of the loot. Enough to shut you up, I hope. What? How could you be so... I won't accept goods stolen from my friends. How insulting to the dead! Hey! Wait! Don't go! I... um... Thank you for saving me. My name is Shella. I'm glad you came when you did. I didn't fight that thing to save you, Shella. A saber dragon's fangs will fetch me a juicy sum. End of story. Um, you're from Mira, the city of illusion, aren't you? How could you tell? Because you have a guardian spirit with you. I knew as soon as I saw you. It's said that only the people of Mira can summon guardian spirits to this world. You seem to know a lot about guardian spirits. In ancient times, at the threshold between this world and another, souls from both worlds would meet. Their fates entwined. The visiting soul would become a guardian spirit, yet very few were able to hear a spirit's voice, and those bonded with a guardian spirit would receive great knowledge and power. But I'm surprised. I thought that was just a legend. Some old tale passed around in fireside chats, Well, there's no way of telling if someone really has a guardian. I wouldn't blame anyone if they thought we were just hallucinating or something. Right? Huh? Was that voice your guardian? I thought I heard a faint voice in my mind. You mean you heard his voice? I did. Just barely, though. So, your name is... I'm Shella. Nice to meet you. <laughs> your voice tickles me. It feels strange. Hey, ever since I woke up at that village, you've been acting kind of funny. That reminds me, Dunk Larry Kush was worried about amnesia. Like I'd hit my head or something. Don't tell me you've lost your memory. I forgot everything that happened before that? Is that it? Really? Well, that's good to hear. I was kind of worried, but... Let's talk about this later. This doesn't look like a nice place to chat. I figure you'll remember soon enough. Hey, Callus! I have to go to the ancient ruins deep in the forest. What about you two? We're headed that way too. You want to go together? If you don't mind, but before we leave, could you spare me a minute? pains me to leave you here. My mission cannot wait. Graham? Leon? Thank you. For everything. Cast light upon the darkened earth. Save those lost in despair. O oh, mighty ocean, guide us as we journey through the darkest pit of night.
what were you... Callus, we should be going. Time to collect the loot. 